Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video. Uh, we had left off uh, where we began to create our income statement, and uh, we created a couple of apps, one for uh, revenue, the other one for expenses, and we started to build out, uh, just started to build out our income statement. So what we're going to do now is uh, we want to finish this off. So just to have another look at what the completed income statement is going to look like, uh, we've got the top section here now. And we're going to create a report now for our expense app. So we've got a list of all the expenses and the corresponding um, amounts. And then, of course, uh, the total. And then we're going to merge that into the uh, the income statement the report that we just created. OK, so let's start out, first of all, by making sure we've got everything uh, cleared off. And we will go up to our query section and look for our expense app that we created. Um, if you recall, I had to name mine expense app too because I had created one previously. Um, doesn't mean that there's two here. So yours should just say expense app on it. So I'm not going to open it, but I'm going to highlight it. And I'm going to go to create, go to reports, and go to reports wizard. And I'm just going to pull everything over like that. Choose next. I don't have any blue letters at the top there, so that is fine. Go to next again. And we're going to ascend by description. And next. And just as we did with the um, the revenues, we're going to leave the layout here as tabular and also in portrait. Choose next. And we'll just call this expense report. There we go, and finish. All right, so let us save and close. And let's go down to our report uh, section at the bottom, and let's open up our new expense report. Now, the first thing, so <clears throat> just taking a look at this now, um, most of the work's done for us. We've got description column, we have the expense amount, you should only have, if you um, uh, created your query correctly, your app, excuse me, you should only have each item listed once. In other words, you wouldn't want to see office expense listed two or three times or freight listed multiple times. You should just have one line for each. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go in and modify a little bit. We're going to get rid of this banded um, report because we just want it a solid white background so that it matches the um, uh, the revenue report, and then we'll get rid of these outlines on here. So let's actually let's go into layout view first and let's have all these highlighted. Okay, I'm going to select format, I'm going to go to shape outline, and I'm going to choose transparent. Okay, so I've got all my expense items listed highlighted. I went to the Format tab. I went to Shape Outline. I'm going to choose Transparent because I don't want those boxes around there. OK, and now I'll flip back to the port view. And you can see now all the boxes are gone. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, get rid of these banded gray colors here. So we're going to flip over to Design View. And we'll use the same process we did on our report, or pardon me, our revenue report. I'm going to go to this detail tab right here. I'm going to click on detail, highlight that bar, go to format. And right here, guys, under alternate row color, I'm going to select no color. And just to have a look, I'm going to flip back to report view. And great, that's what we've got now. Okay, so we got rid of the banded colors and we got rid of these outline boxes. So that worked out very well. Okay, so we're going to do a similar thing. We're going to go back into Design View. And if you recall from the Revenue app, we deleted you know, the page field and the date field. And then we put in a total at the bottom. And that's exactly what we're going to do here. So I'm going to go back to Design View. And I'm going to grab that 
in the report footer, that solid black line on the bottom. I'm going to pull that down a little bit because I'm going to want to have uh, room under here for um, my total. I'm going to give myself a little bit more room. Okay. Now, with a little bit of room now under the report footer, I'm going to click on the page field, and I'm going to delete that. Don't need it. And the same thing here with the date and delete that. And all we want to do now is under detail, under expense amount, I'm going to just click on it once just to highlight it. Make sure I'm on report design. Go to totals and choose sum. And there we go. We've got that right there. I'm just going to click on that. I'm just going to move it down a bit. Again, once we merge this over under the report, we're going to be moving things around quite a bit. So we just want to kind of get it in the general area. Now, all this is going to show us, just as a reminder, looking at this, this is just going to show us a number here. But what we're going to want to do now, guys, just like we did up here, we're going to want to add a label to it called total expenses so that the user, when they're looking at the income statement, knows what that number is for. Okay, so I'm just going to click off. I'm on report design, and I want to go to label. Click on that, and then we're just going to draw a rectangle box. There we go, and that will be total expenses. Okay, I'm going to click on it again. I will format it with a color I like. It's going to be black. I'll do the same thing for the amount. Select the color. Black. Now I have my property sheet open here and I can see that it's formatted as currency, which is exactly uh, what I want. Now, what I am going to do here, I'm going to make a small modification to my title here. So I don't want any banding color here and I'll explain to you why that is. So we've got our banding color at the top, but our expenses are coming under here. So I don't want another black banding here. If you prefer and you're doing your own layout, that, that's entirely up to you. Um, I just want to have the, uh, the caption in there, though. So what I'm going to do is first, I'm going to get rid of the word report. I'm going to highlight expense. I'm going to change the size of the font. I'm going to take it down about a 12. Oh, maybe that's too small. I'll try a 14. Okay. And then I'm going to want this to also be in black. Black text one. There we go. And now the background, the banding, I'm just going to color it white because I, I really don't want any additional colors there. There we go. Okay, and now I'm going to flip over to the port view. Okay, so there's expense description. I'm going to, I'm going to adjust my headings here, make that dark, and perhaps um, let's do this. I'm going to go to layout view. And I'm just going to move this heading here. I'm just going to move it over like that. Format. Make sure that it's black. I am going to bold that so that it stands out. And the same thing with the resulting expenses. I'll bold those as well. And then my description. I'm going to color that. And my expense amount. And you know what? I think I'm going to bold these headings as, as well. I'm going to file and save. And then file and go to report view. Okay, that's exactly uh, what I want. That's the exact layout that I want to have on this. So now I'm going to uh, begin to merge this. Okay. 
Okay, so let's file, save, and close that. And I think maybe what we may do before we then merge this is we're going to, uh, I think what I want to do first is I want to create our table for our um, report generator. I think I want to do that first. So just as a reminder, this is how the user, when you when you create your final product, this is what they're going to see. They're not going to actually see a report down here. It says income statement. So we are going to, um, so that when we set the date, and then we just click on generate report. The income statement will just appear. So let's begin creating that. Okay, so we want to have everything completely closed off, and we're going to create a it's a very minimal table manually. Okay, so we're going to create a select table, and let's right click and save it, and we will call this date date range, which is okay. Now we're going to flip uh, right click and go to design view. And for our, our primary key, we're going to call this range ID. Okay. And then we're just going to add two fields. We're going to have a from, which will be a date and time data type, and two. Also, a date and time. That's it for the table. Okay, gonna right click, save, and now let's close it. 